Hello and welcome back to the Old Golden Black for this final preview of the season. It's been a magnificent season, one which will remain with me for a long, long time, not just because of the football on the pitch, but because it's the season where I've been to the most games ever, at a, you know, myself. I think 47 of the 52 games that Wolves play this season, that I've been there and I've seen some magnificent moments and some tremendous football. It's been... A, it hasn't been a roller coaster of a season, but there have been certain games where we've really been put through the ringer. That game against Bristol City back uh, on New Year's, day before New Year's Eve, will live with me forever. I think the moment that Ryan Bennett's goal hit the back of the net in that last couple of seconds, that sort of thing doesn't happen for Wolves. We've seen it a lot of times against us, but that sort of thing doesn't happen for us. Um, and then dominant performances away from home as well against like Burton, where we'd lost there last season. And then to go and beat them 4-0, a minor result in the whole context of the season, but it showed that just we're not going to make any mistakes against little teams like this. Um, and then the lows against Fulham and Villa in February and March were tricky games and they really made us panic about the rest of the season because the games were running out and the gap was getting smaller at that point. But they've shown their professionalism then in the games afterwards against Leeds. Um, and then also the two dramatic games against Cardiff and against Middlesbrough uh, over Easter, which we'll never see the like of again. Uh, holding on with nine men against Middlesbrough was just unbelievable for so long as well. 20-odd minutes with nine men. And Sace, one of my pictures of the season of him lying flat in front of the away fans was really summed up the effort that had been put in for that win. And then the drama of the Cardiff game, sort of realising then that we'd done it, we'd won promotion pretty much with that result because of the games that we had left and everybody else having to pick up more points than us. Uh, but And again, we'll never see two penalties being missed in the final minute again. But it did feel like you watch other teams getting promoted and they have moments like that. If you think about uh, Watford getting to the playoff final in 2013 with Leicester missing the penalty and then Watford going down the other end to score to confirm their place in the playoff final. So that sort of drama that Wolves have never really had. We've, When we have got promoted in the past, it's been quite straightforward. But I want to go right back to the first away game of the season now and play you a little clip from the end of my video uh, from the game against Derby County and just see what you think. Very, very excited, very, very happy, buzzing in fact after the start of the season and who knows I almost don't want to get carried away but I think two or three more wins and I think I might start to be. Thank you very much for watching this video drop it a like let me know what you thought of the game if you went or if you listened on the radio or whatever do you think this is going to be our year we're only two games in but we've played two difficult teams and we've had two completely dominating performances. And that feeling was probably emphasised a little bit more a couple of days later when we beat Hull away from home as well but it was very clear from very early on that Wolves were going to have a special season because of the money that had been spent on players and then the manager and the philosophy and just how secure we looked in those first couple of games, particularly against Derby away from home where we had been battered in the past. And I remember going to a wedding on the 20th of August, the day after we lost to Cardiff, and but saying I would be very surprised if we don't finish in the top two. I was very, very confident from very early on. I don't think I perhaps put it on the videos very often because I didn't want to be shot down as a happy clapping, you know, uh, and looking naive had it all gone wrong. But I had a very good sense from very early on that we would do very well this season. I didn't for any stretch think that we'd be getting nearly 100 points. So as for tomorrow's game, I think it's there's the potential for it to be another non-event like it was last week. Uh, but of course Wolves want that extra point to get them to a nice 100 points target. Uh, personally, I think we will win. I can't see, the, I think the way that Sunderland have been for the last couple of weeks, they just look completely bereft of confidence, despite playing quite well against Fulham uh, last weekend. They just lack something, particularly at home as well, and having sacked Chris Coleman this week, which personally I think is a mad decision, because he was willing to carry on managing them and they're going to have to now look for somebody who's willing to take on the mess that is their football club. But I do think Mick McCarthy's been mentioned as a possible manager for them and that would be a good uh, fit for them. I think he's, it's been said a lot that he works well with a tight budget and as well 
I think he wants to rebuild his sort of reputation and get another couple of promotions under his belt. And I think Sunderland, with his history there, would be a really good fit for him. And there are, of course, a number of parallels between Wolves and Sunderland. From It'll no longer be known as doing a Wolves now going straight down from the Premier League to League One. It could be known as doing a Sunderland. But I, d I do think that it will become a more common thing because of the number of teams or the number of smaller teams who are in the Premier League now hanging on for promotion season after season. If you look at from 10th downwards, nobody really has got over 40 points, I don't think. I might be wrong there, but there's a lot of teams who are just about 30. So they're not used to winning games very often. And therefore, when you drop down into the Championship and it becomes a battle and you're just not used to winning, it becomes very, very difficult. And I could see another couple of teams sliding down from the Premier League to League One. Although we can take pride in that we didn't do it as badly as Sunderland did it. We actually ended, I think, with 55 points or something that season when we got relegated, which would have seen us comfortably safe uh, this season. I think we have, we have got to be a little bit cautious on Sunday of Sunderland because a wounded animal, team that's already been relegated, they've got nothing to play for, only pride. Their last home game of the season where they've been awful all season, they will look to try and get some sort of result against the team that's already promoted, team that's been on the beach by all accounts, they've been doing various uh, events all through the week, the Wolves players. Cavaliero has been off in Portugal until yesterday, I think it was. So they've been enjoying themselves and they deserve it, uh, but we just want to make sure that we get that one point. And I think if you're going to pick a game to do it, Sunderland away would be the one that you would pick. So yeah, thank you for watching today's video. Let me know your favourite away moments from this season in the comments section down below. And if you're going to the game, enjoy it. I'll be there uh, going up in a couple of hours, staying overnight in Sunderland and looking forward to a good little afternoon, tomorrow afternoon, and one which we're going to be keeping a close eye on other results down the bottom of the table as well. Thank you very much.